gone into preparing for the Guild, the people of the town know what it's about. I simply want them to enjoy themselves. If you are not impressed in Guild Week, you are missing something quite unique. the um, biggest occasion where we have been able to involve ships. We now have our own Viking ship, um, a carve, which was a 40-foot full-size replica of a Viking trader raider. It's a vessel would have been a common sight in northwestern European waters a thousand years ago. The Vikings were... Preston Guild, 1992. The mayor of this borough of Preston, hereby giveth open knowledge, munition and warning to all and every the free burgesses of this borough, as well inhabitants as foreigners.
to this town upon Monday, the 31st day of August, next coming, being the Monday next after the feast of the decoration of St. John the Baptist, at which feast a guild merchant within this town hath hereto been held and kept every 20 years. And now likewise, upon the day aforementioned, a new guild merchant is appointed to be holden and kept according to ancient custom and of diverse charters and grants heretofore made, granted and confirmed. The guild court is the central feature of the guild itself. It goes back to the 14th century and represents the occasion when the burgesses of the borough renewed their rights to be a burgess and the ordinances for the local government of the area were laid down. The guild court ceremony uh, involves a recital by me of the uh, various charters which empowered the council to hold the guild and that is followed by the existing burgesses and their successors, their sons and this time their daughters, renewing their rights to be a burgess. That is followed by uh, what is called the Latin orations when a scholar from one of the local colleges makes a, a fairly small speech in Latin and the recorder of the borough responds again in Latin. On this occasion uh, there will then be a short adjournment and then there will be a religious service to end the ceremony. Oh yay! Oh yay! Oh yay! The mayor and stewards of this present guild merchant do now openly publish and declare that all the rights, privileges and immunities of this borough and council are now devolved into the hands of the mayor and stewards of this borough. I will, I will now call out the names of leading burgesses from the Guild Roll of 1972 who are seated on the platform and do hereby request them to rise and bow when their name has been called to signify that they wish to renew their right of freedom of or within this borough. Ralph John Asherton of Downham Hall, Clitheroe, the Right Honourable Lord Clitheroe, Peer of the Realm, son of Ralph, Baronet, deceased. Reginald Stanley Gray of Ascombe in Furness, innkeeper, brother of Joseph Frederick, Alderman of the Borough and Mayor of the Guild of 1972, deceased. Those burgesses and sons who are present are requested to rise and bow when their name has been called out in order to signify that they wish to renew their right of freedom of or within this borough. Christopher Parkinson of Kendall. Catherine Elizabeth of Birmingham. James David. Praetor Dignissime, Udex Venerande, Decoriona Simplissimi, Kive. I had intended to make my speech in Latin, but you will be pleased to hear I left those notes at home. I address myself not only to distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, but to the very young people and the children in arms who have been entered into the role of Burgesses this morning. They are the link with the next Preston Guild, and that is extremely important. Thank you.